Hey guys, Jeff Ryan here. I don't know if I showed you the uh, El Camino now that it's done. It just looks uh, it looks pristine now that we, we get everything done. Got the bumpers on, all the accents are on, it just looks really good. Was having some fun with the uh, slot cars this morning. Uh, had the, uh, from what was it last week, the Lincoln and the Maserati came out so good. But I did have a uh, package come in, and if it's the one I'm thinking about, it, it, it's a it's a bigger package, but I think there's only one slot car in here. I think there's only one slot car. So I'm going to go ahead and open that up, and uh, I think it's going to be a chrome uh, plated Jaguar, and I think it's going to be red. If it's if it's the car I'm thinking about, it should that's what it should be. So let me go ahead and uh, get into the package and uh, see what we got. Just cut through the tape with the exacto start um, trying to get it open here. And boy, I like when people use a sturdy box. You know what? I tell you what. I tell you what. There you go. All right. There is another box in bubble wrap. Okay, good. I'm gonna have to use two hands to get that nut butter open. What else is in here, though? They give me some type of little um, card there where all that is, and just some other packing material. So good. I'm gonna give my thumbs up on the box within a box, like double box. That's very good. So let me go ahead and get the. Uh, uh, bubble wrap off this next Just got the bubble wrap off and it's it's pretty neat. It's uh, not not a box like I was thinking. It's a uh, um, Like foam hard foam and he's got it wrapped up here in the tissue paper is what it looks like One uh, let me see if I can do it one hand. Yeah, there we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. There we go All right, fantastic Look at that bugger. All right, let's go and bring it to the bed and see what else we got Watch out girlfriend Boy, I like the chromies. Tell you what, I like the chromies. Doesn't that look good? All right. What are we looking at? Okay. Wow. You see how the um, the patina there is uh, encrusted? I mean, boy, look at that. That's something else. We're probably going to have to use um, uh, Brasso or something to get that bugger clean. And I don't know... Because I've never done it. I've never done it. I've never used a VRP on a chromie. I've never done it. I don't know if it would do anything uh, adverse to it. I have just never done it. But I don't know if this needs it. It looks so good. So let me do this. Let me go ahead and get the uh, body off the chassis real quick. Boy, I'm liking that body. And I'm, I'm seeing damn near flawless. I'm trying to find some flaws on it. It looks really good. That green crustacean, the verdigris. That is, um, that happens when it's like uh, things get oxidized and it's an actual, again, like a crustacean that forms on like brass, copper, that kind of stuff. But uh, we're going to have to use some brass on, thinking to get that off. Just a wire brush isn't going to do it enough. So let me go and start taking apart the chassis. Okay, I think I just made a discovery here. I was taking the uh, chassis apart and I'm looking at it and it doesn't look like it's ever been oiled. Okay, got that. But then the uh, I, I had the uh, engine off and the... Uh, I know the gear came off and I realized it didn't have any um, like ring that it's been that the, that it's spun at all and looking at the bottom of the com plate it, it's like really nice guys and I don't think it, you know it doesn't look like it's been used and there's no oil or any residual like that on there so I think we might have a new old stock chassis that quite frankly probably never has seen um, you know, never been on track, never been on track, you know, no, no time like that. Okay, so we really have to get after anything that brass and uh, put it in the brass over here. So let me go ahead and get that started for us. All right, this is everything I'm going to uh, put into the cap I have here. And what I did is I've been shaking the brass over for the last uh, little bit. And uh, okay, look at the vertigrees. It's just, it, it, it's on it. It's like ruining the... Uh, Brass, unless we got to get it off. So everything in everything here is going to go in the cup. We're going to uh, slather it with a uh, brasso, and we're going to let it just soak. All right, very good. I got everything covered the way I want it, and the brasso there. Just going to let it set for a bit, and uh, see if we can get all that crustacean off. All right, it has been a little bit, and look what we've got. Look at look at that. It's turned the uh, it's turned the brasso blue. I'm going to get this stuff rinsed off in the uh, water and. Uh, I bet you it's gonna look a whole lot better. All right, very good. I just got back from the uh, St. Aaron. Uh, it looks like we did good. 
everything is really wet. Let me take it back over to the bench. We'll dry everything off and buff it out. Just got done drying everything off. I'm ready to get my uh, wire Dremel. But it, it, the um, Brasso got probably, I'm going to say, like 95, uh, 6, 7 percent of the stuff off. And the, uh, 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 the wire brush I got on the Dremel is going to do the rest of it for us. So let me get after that. I was just getting ready to get started on the shoes, and I just want to re-verify. Now we got the uh, crustacean off, or most of it. There's no play wear on those shoes, man. There's no grooves. There's no play wear. So once again, I think we got a chassis. Um, never seen any track time. All right, let me get up to cleaning this stuff up. Everything is coming out really good. I just got to the bottom comp plate there, and what I did just for fun is I oiled the uh, uh, dr uh, drive gear there, and I oiled the... Uh, uh, the small gear there just so when I take the uh, wire brush to the bottom of the complaint it'll spin free but it's not bad it just needs to be polished up just got done using the Dremel everything is um, polished up good to go time for some reassembly yeah it's got the axles in and as a reminder I oil as I go so I got both the uh, axles oiled up there what do we need we gotta get the magnets the brushes in get that engine on clamp it up just got the clamp on. Boy, looking at the way the chassis came out, it's looking good as that body. Let me go ahead and get the uh, body back on the chassis. No, let's test it first. Let's go ahead and test it. Damn, damn, damn it up. Haven't even been sparked up. You know, who knows if this thing's ever been sparked up. I, I don't think it's had any track time. I know that, but I don't think it's even had a, a touch of the transformer. Oh, it's like music in my ears right there, guys. I'm liking that. You can tell it hasn't been broken or anything. Yeah, there it goes, speeding up a little bit. All right, good, 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 good. Time to get this bugger on the track. All right, just a sec. And that's incredible looking like that. Again, I really love the chrome plated ones. The candy chrome, love them. Make sure transformer, yep, good. Here we go. Oh yeah, yeah. Look at that, look at that guys, that is so smooth. That is so smooth, that looks so good like that. I don't think it would have even sparked if we would have had all the uh, uh, crustacean on there and um, trying to get it to run like that. Man, man, that looks good. Man, that looks good. You know, uh, if you're a novice and don't think, hey, listen, we never get the chance to run, it's too corroded. No, think again, guys, you can get them to run. You can get them to run. All right, hope you enjoyed the videos. I got a number of things coming up. And uh, we're going to have some fun coming up here in the next couple weeks. We will be starting the uh, slot car layout, the table for that. And it's going to be a blast doing that whole thing. All right, guys. See ya.